People don't care that you're making YouTube videos. Stop overthinking about how weird it is, how awkward you feel, what you think they will think of you. Most people just focus on what they're doing in their own bubble. They're not sitting there obsessing over, why is Alan making YouTube videos? You focus on you, you focus on you creating your content that you wish to make. And over time, people have come around to it or they'll just, you know, that's the thing that Alan does. Low views are a good thing. When you're first starting and you have no clue what you're doing, low views are a blessing. This way, you can learn, you can understand. Ronaldo, at the age of 12, wasn't playing in front of 90,000 people and if he fails that's his career done he started on the grassroots and he built his way up and that's the same with youtube views let's put out your first 100 odd videos your first video is going to be horrible and then you learn i need better sound and then i need better lighting and then i need to brush my hair <laughs> just low views are a blessing see it as your training see it as going to the gym for youtubers niching down is a lie find things that you want to talk about but then explore different formats of that thing have a look what other people are doing and either copy with your twist see how well it does or see if it fails after five ten videos learn from that and adjust or explore content ideas in general maybe you're talking about farming but talking doesn't work but if you show them about farming it will work or if you're problem solving that specific thing by frequently asked questions that could work explore different formats and something will click sooner or later learn 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 the more you learn the more you can put in your head, the more you can adjust. I've only ever been to two or three conferences over my career, but I plan on going to more and more because every time I go, I get drilled with a load of new information and that just changes little bits of your brain and then you look at things slightly differently. And if you can't afford conferences, there's books. That's Gary Vaynerchuk there. Deborah Leaves is somewhere up there. You can listen to audiobooks using Amazon if you're ADHD like me. The more you learn, the more you look at things differently. Ask questions you'll never learn and you'll never grow if you're not curious it could be people in your space or nowadays chat gpt will give you a very solid answer since chat gpt has been around chat gpt has been my handheld va yes i could search on google but if i ask the right questions and have a chat with chat gpt it will refine the answer for you explain it to you and you can learn that topic much better use tools to make your life easier i don't do all of this manually myself i use things like opus clip for youtube shorts i schedule things out using like me edgar i research things using google trends or syllabi and i plan all of my videos using creative fuel if you want more info on creative fuel there's a link in the description down below in fact if you go and check out their channel somewhere up here there may be a face that you recognize on that channel talk with others in your space any chance you get and they don't necessarily have to be direct rivals so i've got three or four youtubers that i chat to on a regular basis crypto youtube educators sports personalities that kind of thing and we just chat the idea of youtube have you had a look at this feature have you tried this are you struggling with monetization what are you doing here are you going there those kind of things help you it also makes you feel less alone in your hobby because youtube can be a weird world monetize in as many ways possible people accept it nowadays when youtube first started people selling things or being sponsored was kind of seen as a sellout nowadays people are much more supportive in the understanding that life costs money a lot of money so if you can find a way to integrate a way to make money into your videos whether it's affiliate links in the descriptions whether it's a sponsorship arrangement for that specific video whether you've got ebooks that you're looking to sell whether you're using adsense for the the videos blog posts twitter funds whatever it needs to be the more incomes you have then over time the more it helps you if you've got one form of income and that thing disappears you're screwed if you've got eight forms of income and one disappears you're not going to fall over i've learned this one very personally myself over the years nowadays i've got lots of little pieces of income that pay me one two three hundred dollars a month and because there's multiple it soon adds up and it gives you a bit of security. YouTube is a marathon and not a sprint. So enjoy the journey. Enjoy making the content. Enjoy the learning process. Don't live to the end, right? You're not, the pursuit of happiness is bullshit, right? Because if you're not miserable, hoping that you'll get there, that it'll either spoil the thing when you finally get there, or you'll never get there and you will live miserably. So if you enjoy the thing you're doing to get there, if you're enjoying the process, then you'll always be happy. Oh. 
friendly reminder. This face can be seen on the Creative Fuel channel. There's a link down below. Please go and send them some love. Go and subscribe.